This is the one that kind of surprised me a little bit. It's a gold a buffalo, and nowhere on there does this thing say it's a copy anywhere. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar from Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in Lauderdale-by-the-Sea. With that promised update, I was going to give you on some uh, items that are counterfeits, copies, and spurious type things that are meant to fool you. Uh, this isn't the item I was talking about, and I'll get to that in a moment here. Uh, but here, just to give you a few, here's one of the oldest counterfeit type gold items where they actually took a nickel. They're called racketeers nickels, and they, were, and they made them in 1883. And let me kind of put that down, see if I can give you a little better close-up shot of that right there. There it is right there, 1883. That's actually a nickel. Uh, but before the nickel got out there, people had confused that with a $5 Liberty head, uh, which I don't have a picture here to show you, but uh, uh, there's the back of it. And if someone took the time to see, there is no nickel. It doesn't say five cents on there, it says five. So back in the day when this coin first came out, uh, people were taking them and gold plating them and passing them off as $5 gold pieces because people didn't know any better. Anyway, that's actually a real coin that's been gold plated, uh, a real nickel that's been gold plated and it was a, passed off years ago uh, as a real $5 gold piece uh, at the time. And these today are known as racketeer nickels. So type in racketeer nickel under your uh, in, in a Google search or a DuckDuckGo search and you'll get a kind of cool story all about them. Anyway, here's just a couple samples of some counterfeits we've gotten over the year. Uh, Continental dollars, which if they're real, they're worth thousands, but they're, they're quite often, uh, we see a lot of these earlier type coins that are copied and counterfeited. Uh, that one's not real, obviously. Then you've got your Morgan dollars and the quality of the copies on the Morgan dollars coming out of China is even so much better, uh, more likely to fool you and uh, let's take a look here at the other side here. Uh, in quick passing and a bunch of coins, this might fool some people. This is why you really need to take a closer look at this stuff. Uh, but the coin is just totally wrong in every way. Uh, so are these, they're not even silver. Uh, so they are getting that, uh, uh, the fakes down pretty good as far as copying the silver. And here's two items that are real. Uh, actually, here's one of the uh, earlier fake Chinese counterfeits that uh, we see a lot of as well. You see a lot of these at flea markets. Uh, these have been out for 20 years now or something like that or more. These better Morgan dollars are more recent here. Uh, again, you know, avoid buying off the internet unless you know the person real well or online. Uh, avoid buying from people that aren't coin experts because you could end up with this kind of stuff, which some customer did. Uh, here's a deceptive uh, thing right here. Uh, they make this buffalo in a one ounce round. If you take a look here, it says one ounce. It says copy down there. It's not a real uh, buffalo, but it is one ounce of pure silver. However, this same company makes this version, which if you don't look closely and you got a bunch of these buffaloes, you assume, and I'm gonna put these two side by side right here. Sorry about the uh, uh, camera moving around so much, I got it zoomed in, but I'm gonna put these two side by side. And let me zoom out here a little bit. And I'm gonna take that. And if you notice, one says one ounce fine silver over there, and the other one doesn't say anything, but you can be fooled in thinking both of these silver because they're almost the exact same size. So actually, I went through a big process there to show you just a couple items that we see quite frequently in our shop, but uh, this is the one that kind of surprised me a little bit. It's a gold a buffalo, and nowhere on there does this thing say it's a copy anywhere. Um, it's kind of a little deceptive, and I'm gonna set the camera down here and put this so I can show you a little bit closer here. Let's take a look here and turn that around. And let me see if I can, give me one second there. And let me see if I can zoom in on that. There's a sample that I'm, I'm looking at. And you know what? This would fool some people. I mean, as soon as I, I saw it, I kind of knew it was wrong because the design was wrong, the color's a little bit off. Uh, but this could actually fool some people. Again, the weight is way off on that. Uh, let's take a look at that a little bit closer. And again, nowhere on here does it say copy unless I'm missing it. $50, one ounce, 999 fine gold. And uh, yeah, there's a reverse of it. Anyways, I'm going to take you take this coin and take it down to the machines downstairs and do a test on the uh, XRF machine and also on my specific gravity machine. So uh, let's move over to there. Okay, let's take these uh, two coins and again here is the copy that we have, which is dated 2011, as you see there.
and there's our real coin. I'm going to take this coin right here, which is the copy, and I'm going to put this on the uh, XRF machine right here, and close the lid there. We're going to go over to this screen right here, and the result should pop up on this. Now, if the plating is heavy enough, this will show up as 24 karat. However, the plating is not that heavy, so it's reading through, this thing will only read through a few microns, so if it's a heavy plating, it will read as 24 karat gold, but it's looking like that the plating is very thin on this particular copy, and uh, it's coming in a very light, light amount of gold, and the rest of it, as expected, uh, uh, 73 percent uh, uh, copper and 25 percent nickel uh, there is no gold or silver in this thing whatsoever so let's move along to the next one this is our real buffalo which I've got right here in my hand we're gonna throw that on our XRF machine right here close the lid for safety purposes and uh, I could pull the trigger from here or here but we'll pull the little trigger it's like a gun and as you can see the little red lights flink I don't know why they put the red light on there just to show you it's working and let's take a look here at what our results are gonna be. There ye go, 24 karat gold. But as I said, if that gold-plated buffalo that was underweight had been heavier plated, it would have got the same reading. So this $17,000 machine really doesn't do anything but tell you what's on the outside surface, which for precious metals dealers is very important. So I'm gonna move along to the next test here, which is going to be the specific gravity machine. So I'm gonna set that up and I'll be back in one sec. Now that we've tested it on the XRF machine, and we've got an outside reading on one of these that shows it's mostly nickel and copper with a light plating of gold, and the other one is 24 karat gold according to the XRF machine, but again, it doesn't tell us what's inside the item. We're going to go over to the specific gravity machine, and say that three times fast if you can, and uh, we're going to test that on there, and first I'll test the real one right here that we've already done, and actually let me zoom out a little bit so I get a better shot of that. And uh, I'm going to grab this, and we're going to open up this tank. Now, this specific gravity machine is very, very delicate, uh, and, it, and it tells us what's inside the item. As long as it's not hollow and has other type of items in it, it's going to give us a good reading. And uh, sorry about the glare of the light right there. I'll try to move around here. And as you notice, we have to the temperature right there, 18 uh, degrees Celsius. we got to enter that because all the stuff is important when you're doing this. Uh, so I'm going to put this on the top shelf which is going to be the dry weight. This should come up as 31.15, 31.16. Uh, it'll be just slightly hair off. That's very accurate right there. So we got 31.16. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that item, we're going to pull it out of, off the dry rack right there where we weighed it. And as you can see, I'm going to submerge this in the water down there. And uh, try not to make a mess, like I did just there. And we're going to go down here and we're going to hit this enter button one more time. And what you're going to see is it's slowly calculating. And it'll get down to that last little mark and it will tell us that it's 24 karat gold. And voila, it actually says 105%, but 24 karat gold is uh, what we got there. So let's take this fake gold buffalo right here and uh, let's put it into this specific gravity machine and see what comes up. This will be the dry weight, not submerged in water. And what I'll do is I'll hit this, let that settle down just a tad right there. And once that settles down, we're gonna hit that enter button. And there we go. So now we'll take the item out of here we will drop it inside the water tank part of it. Close that lid because a little bit of air moving in there can change your uh, can change the uh, carrot on it. So let's hit enter, and what we should be getting is low carrot, no carrot on the fake. And there we go, I'm counting down to two more, and we should be right there. And what I'm suspecting to see is low. There you go, gold low. And more or less, it means basically no gold. It might be picking up a tiny bit, but I don't think so. 
so that's the definitive test, this machine right here. The XRF is a great machine for telling you what's on the surface, but not what's inside the item. Um, and machines like this are very, very important when you're buying and selling gold. If you're dealing with dealers that are not using this type of equipment and, and or don't have years and years of experience, you probably shouldn't be buying off them because it's just too much money and an ounce of gold to make a mistake. So that's my recommendation is uh, know who you're dealing with. Uh, avoid buying online unless you're buying from the big online sellers. And I still recommend sticking with your local dealers. You're going to get a better deal. And uh, these guys have been around for a while. They're going to know what they're looking at. Uh, so anyway, let me move on from there and show you something else here. Okay, let's do a little simple final test here that you folks can do by yourself at home. Uh, now this only applies to coins like the uh, American Eagle right here that you see. Uh, made by the U.S. government. They're 21.6 carat and uh, 900 fine. Same as a U.S. $20 gold piece. Same thing as a Kurgan. Same thing as uh, British Sovereigns and almost every gold type bullion coin that's been made for the last couple hundred years. Uh, this is a standard fineness worldwide. Uh, again, 90, uh, uh, 90%, 21.6 uh, carat. So what it does is it has 90% uh, 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 of this coin is gold and 10% is copper to give it hardness and durability. However, this coin does, as you saw in the earlier test, oh no, I didn't weigh this one, I'm sorry. This coin weighs more than an ounce uh, to make up for the little bit of uh, copper they put in it. So there's exactly one ounce of pure gold in this coin right here, and there is 10% uh, copper. So again, one ounce of gold, 10%, so it weighs 1.1% uh, uh, or 1.1 ounces or something like that. So a little bit over uh, uh, one ounce. And the unique thing about this type of gold, and again, this is a test you can do at home, is you can take a Krugerrand like you can a maple leaf, and this is the hardest part, is actually balancing it on your finger right here. <laughs> so let me see if I can get this. And I'm gonna take my lucky bull and bear uh, coin here that we use for the coin toss on our daily things, and I'm, or our, our, my daily uh, uh, updates, or we haven't used it in a while, but I'm gonna use this to get a ring. So I'm gonna be quiet here and let's see if I can get that for you. Ready? Oh, dropped it, dropped it. And let me see. Oh, you hear that nice ring? Like a bell? That's what all, if you took 1,000 American Eagles like this and you put them all next to your ear and you bounced each one on your finger, every one will sound alike. So it, it has that nice bell-like ring. Uh, again, uh, you know, a good reason. If you've got something you suspect that's a crew grand or, or eagle and you think it might be fake, try the simple ring test. It, if it sounds like a dull thud and it doesn't sound like the rest of your eagles or Krugerrands, you may have an issue. However, that doesn't work on all gold coins. For example, here's a buffalo, American buffalo, which is pure gold. There's no alloy in this alloy, and it weighs exactly one ounce. So uh, uh, let's listen to what this thing rings like. And let me see. Like I said, balancing is the hardest part. I was never good at this part of balancing, but let's hit it with my lucky coin. Kind of a whole different leddy ring, if you've noticed, on, uh, on the uh, real one. Not, not that uh, uh, bell-like ring, but kind of a more like a dull thud. And uh, maple leaves are even more dull sounding, so let me hit that one more time. And there you go, a totally different ring. So if you take your, your uh, gold buffaloes and you grab all your gold buffaloes and uh, 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 start comparing them with the way they sound, you will notice that if you tap it the same way, it'll sound the same way. However, it's not as clear as the uh, eagle that we were just showing here. So anyway, I just wanted to give you that little kind of quick tip. And uh, if you don't quite get it, I can't help you with the balancing part because I can't even help myself. But if you don't quite get it, uh, come by here and I'll uh, show you some other products and, and how they ring. But you know, there's a good test that doesn't require any expensive equipment or anything else. So anyways, listen, I appreciate you watching our little pro tip videos here and I uh, hope you have yourself a great day. 
Uh, check out my other videos as well and the daily updates Mondays through Fridays that we do on precious metals uh, and uh, give our opinions and other things. And don't forget to check out our other pro tips. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in sunny Lauderdale-by-the-Sea. Hope you enjoyed this little pro tip. Have a nice day.